back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. I have a guest judge back again. Hey, 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 <laughs> Bourbon Judge fans. So good to see you. And uh, I'm feeling especially welcomed in this new studio. I mean, are you guys loving the new digs or what? We're real fancy now. <laughs> I had to step my game up, right? You know, I had to step my game up. I love my cabinets. I love my cabinets upstairs, but I had to step my game up and become official, cousin. Uh, all right. I become official. All you know right. What I mean? All right. Is that cool? I'm loving it. I'm loving it. You know, it took long enough for me to be able to make an appearance here, but it's okay. No shade. No shade. Well, you know, just to be clear, you know, just to be clear. So, uh, funny enough, and we'll get to this in a little bit, but um, my last episode... Uh -huh. I introduced a new contest, ah. and the contest was how many times did Cousin Anita appear as a guest judge? Oh my goodness! Uh -huh. How smart of you! <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, girl. <laughs> I've managed to teach him a few things, Bourbon Judge fans. <laughs> Whatever. See, I don't get any love here, and uh, we'll, we'll get to the results at the end. We'll get to the results at the end. But uh, one of the comments, well, actually, many of the comments. <laughs> was when's cousin Anita coming back again so I brought her back she's coming back right so you know now now you're finally back all you're right back. well I, and I'm so thrilled to be here you know I love you you know I love all of our bourbon judge fans thank you so much for supporting my wonderful cousin thank so thank yeah you. I'm looking forward to some tasting yeah, buddy absolutely. Well, you know hey before we get into tasting do you know what month this is well, um, it's May, and I may be a little crazy, because uh, work and other things have had me hustling. As I always say, it's hard out here in these streets, folks. It's hard out here in these streets. It is hard. She's, she's, you are crazy, by the way. She's crazy. As you said, I'm the calm one in the family. She's the crazy one, but fun, and we love her. So, May, so we got a couple things in May. Okay. Number one. Tomorrow's Mother's Day. Or actually, today's Happy Mother's Day. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. So, yeah. Happy Mother's Day to your mom. Thank you. To my Thank mom. Thank you. Yes. And to yes. All, every, all the other mothers out there, everyone who watches the channel. Yes. Happy Mother's Day to all Enjoy your mothers. Enjoy your well. Mother's Day. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Also, Happy Mother's Day to Mrs. Judge, my wonderful and lovely wife. And it's also, I introduced this new concept last week in my last video. Okay. It's the Drive to Five. Okay. Drive to 5,000. I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers. Oh, guys. I thought right. you were like, you know, five o'clock happy hour. <laughs> Don't drive at five because you're drinking bourbon. But okay, I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. <laughs> so I'm trying to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of May, if okay. possible. All right, possible. all right. Well, we know that your Bourbon Judge fans are mm -hmm. going to get us to that number because they're going to spread the word Absolutely. and tell folks how wonderful oh, this is. So you, I have you. no doubt. I Thank have you. no doubt. Thank you very much, cuz. I appreciate yes. it. I appreciate that. <laughs> so, all right, let's, let's go ahead and dive into this. So we're going to go ahead and review today Uncle Nearest 1856. Nice, nice. Lots of hype. Lots, lots of, of hype. hype. Lots of so, hype. You know, this we'll is one. See. Woo, this is, I mean, <laughs> lots of good stuff about them, right? Okay. So, let me pour you a little bit. I poured you a little bit, but you know, we can yeah. deep pours here. Yeah, I was going to say, no chintzy uh, pours no. this go round. Because you know I warned him about that. If you all have watched Cousin Anita before. All right. <laughs> and by the way, if you don't see, if you can't see there, these nice little glasses. You mm. see that? I know. We're real fancy fans. We're, we're, we're real glasses. fancy. <laughs> so I just got these bad boys, and uh, these are actually something that I uh, actually have available for some of my patrons oh. uh, on my Patreon page. Oh, yes. Yes. We must and, uh, support the Patreon page. Uh, thank you, because I appreciate that. It's all about the PP. Appreciate that. <laughs> Crazy, I tell you, you are funny, girl. Oh my gosh, you cracked me up. You are too funny. Oh wow. So you know, one thing about Uncle Nearest is like you know, when I was prepping for this, right? You know, mm. I did all my research, right? I got to come correct. Uh, absolutely. Right? Lots absolutely. of knowledge, lots of insight, and mm. this is one I got to get right, right? Right. <laughs> I gotta get right. For sure. Right. I do not want to be embarrassed <laughs> <laughs> on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so I had to come correct. So okay, let's 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 just go through a little bit of the history with Uncle Nick. Yes, Is that cool? Yes. All right. So yes. a while ago, I reviewed Jack Daniels, mm -hmm. 
one of the cool things and I knew about this even before uh, when Fawn Weaver started this company she started it because she started to learn everything about the whole Uncle Nearest story right mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. long story short Uncle Nearest his real name actually was Nearest Green mm -hmm. he was the first black master distiller at that point in time for Jack Daniels right for sure so yep. he actually taught Jack Daniels how to distill bourbon or in that case Tennessee whiskey right mm -hmm. so cool story but unfortunately many things years ago right. he was not given the credit for so Fawn Weaver wanted to kind of pay I guess tribute if you will to the Uncle Nearest story and decided to, cre to create the whole Uncle Nearest brand which, which is, is really wonderful, neat, right? wonderful. Can't Featured on the Today Show, mm -hmm. so many things. So that's why I said we, we definitely need to get this right. We got to get this right. <laughs> they won, like, they won like, over like 150 awards, For too, sure, right? for sure. They have a couple types. They have this one. They have the coveted one is mm -hmm. 1820. It's a single ah, barrel, that's right. barrel strength, right? I have mm -hmm. never found that one yet, mm -hmm. but they had that one out there as well. Mm -hmm. And then they also have the 1884, which is a small batch. Um, but this one I thought would be a really good one to try because it's available in all 50 states. That's which not is bad. Awesome. Right? Not That's bad. awesome. Not yeah. bad. All right, let's get into this nose a little all bit. All right. So. My favorite part. I know. Mm -hmm. So the cool thing about them is that, you know, you know, actually I should also say um, the great great granddaughter mm -hmm. of Uncle Nearest of Nearest Green, mm -hmm. uh, Victoria Butler, is the master blender of uh, Uncle right. Nearest. That's right. I so do that believe pretty cool. that was mentioned. That's pretty that's, neat, right? That's can't beat very that. cool. Very cool. It's very neat. I, I love the whole story. I love how Lovely. Fawn Weaver kind of brought it all back. Got the family involved, right? Yeah. Um, they're sourcing their bourbon right now because you know when you mm -hmm. start out, right? When you start out, you have to get your bourbon sourced. Yeah. So they're working with five local distilleries in Tennessee to make this Tennessee whiskey. Okay. Um, but they are actually starting right now to make their own through partnership with Corsair Distillery. So ah. they're trying to make their own, right? While they're kind of well, building up. Right? It. It's yeah, bad, right? exactly. It's the way to do it, right? Until you start off your own. I was so. going to say, you got to crawl before you walk, Exactly. Right? exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey. <laughs> yes, you got to crawl before you walk, right? You are crazy. You know? So. Yes. I was actually mm. happy because this bottle is only $55. Really? MSRP, baby. Oh, right. You know, I don't mess around with secondary. I don't do right, it. Right, right. I do not do it, you know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, so $55, available all 50 states, and really easily available. I mean, I've seen this everywhere. I've seen it all over, which I love. I really yeah. love that. Well, and I think the price point is great because we all know, right, that when something becomes super popular, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it's all over TV, it's all the hype. Yep, so what true. happens to that MSRP? Up, 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 and yep. up. And so, you know. So true. Yeah. So, true. so, right, right. so this is, I think, mm, spot on it is. for the amount. And mm, it's nice, from what right? I'm smelling, <laughs> that nose is nice, isn't it? <laughs> That nose is lovely. And looking at this color here, yeah, this is one of those where it's like literally, I'm the honey, you know, yeah. truly. It is a beautiful brown. Oh. It's very nice. It's oh. a very soft, elegant brown. Yes. You know, very yes. nice. Yes. This is great. All right. So well, oh no. Well. Uh, so what do you get on the nose, first and foremost? Yeah, so here, um, mm. very light, a uh, bit on mm. the floral side, mm -hmm. not too heavy on the spice there. But I do smell that because uh, it goes through a triple charcoal filtering process. Yes. So you smell okay. the charcoal. You smell that Tennessee whiskey yes. just kind of sitting there, right? It's kind of hugging you up, right? Giving as you some I, loving. Mm -hmm. As I inhale a bit more, for sure. So I get the, I get your like a little bit. It's like there's some, mm -hmm. there's some fruit in there. Yeah. A little soft little floral. Yeah. But you smell the uh, the charcoal. More of the charcoal. You smell the uh, some caramel. This is actually really nice. It really is. Uh, uh, I don't know how I waited so long. I'm so I'm sorry, Uncle Nearest. <laughs> I'm mm -hmm. sorry I waited so long to buy a bottle. Mm -hmm. That's what I mean. I've had it before. <laughs> I, it just took me a while to buy a bottle. I, I was mean. waiting, Bourbon Goods fans. <laughs> I was waiting. <laughs> it's on me. I tell you though, from the nose, mm -hmm. I love the caramel. Mm -hmm. I love a little bit of the spice from the charcoal filtering process. Mm -hmm. I love mm -hmm. the floral elements of it as well. Mm -hmm. There's some notes of toffee in there also. And I think everything that you've highlighted, though, too, mm. the caramel, the toffee, mm. nice and light, you know, mm -hmm. doesn't have that yeah, super dark color. Yeah. It's 100 proof. Mm -hmm. 100 proof. Well, yeah. Right? Yeah. Nothing too crazy. I love it. I love it. A little maple syrup as well in there. I mean, hey. So, I don't know about you, cuz. You ready to sit? <laughs> I was ready five minutes ago. <laughs> Ooh, 
that's nice, cuz. That's really nice. That's so this nice. is like, this uh, is really nice. God, you finish it? <laughs> <laughs> I guess she won't be going back for sex. Well, I, I, she told you, I told you I was super excited about this one. <laughs> Wow, goodness gracious. Oh. All right, so for me, lovely. The mm. palette mm -hmm. was wonderful. Just as wonderful as the nose, in my opinion. For right? sure. Um, I just felt like this one, mm. this is, I mean, so it's a blend of anywhere from 8 to 14 year age whiskey. Okay. You can mm. tell. You can tell mm -hmm. cheap whiskey mm -hmm. and you can tell good whiskey. Listen. And I would tell you, this is pretty damn good. And right? It's excellent. And you all know. Mm. I am not a fan of that socket to me. I love a smoother, Elegant. smoother drink. Mm. And that's the reason why I was able to drink the whole thing. Because yeah. going down, yeah. it was so, so smooth. smooth. Like is. there was n zero burn. It is zero. Burn. I got to pour a little bit more. I'm yeah, I mean, uh, of course. <laughs> <laughs> that's the way we roll. That's how we do it in this family. <laughs> Um, Absolutely. Uh, that's how we do it. All right, I give you a little bit more, cause all right, give myself a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna say Victoria yeah. Butler. <laughs> you, man, can blend some damn good whiskey. The Victoria, Victoria, we'd love to oh have you on the gosh. show. Let us know. Oh, man, this, is like, <laughs> oh, this is. Yeah, it's good stuff. It is. I mean, it's it really is great. nice. It is great. Gosh. I mean, I know, like I said, I mean, I had it several times at bars, and you know, but when you're at a bar, you've had other bourbons already, so yeah. you know your decision making process, what you remember. Well, it's like, and, it you're kinda, you know, and you're socializing, you're socializing, and right? you're not really thinking so much yeah. about it, and it's like, oh, it's nice, yeah. but really, this just having great. this opportunity to take it in, it is, it's lovely. So to me, mm -hmm. the thing that I loved, everything mm -hmm. from the nose transfers to the palate, mm -hmm. the caramel, the toffee. The, um, you can smell the, uh, you, you even in your palate, you taste the mm -hmm. charcoal, right? And I love that, right? Yeah. But it's elegant at the same it time. It for sure is. This is damn good. I, 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 gosh, I'm so yeah. sorry again. I took you this long <laughs> to get to this. All right, one more time, yeah, everyone. Cheers, yeah, everyone. Cheers. Mm. Ooh. Mm. Ooh. Not bad, right? Lovely. Not bad at all. Lovely. So I will tell you a couple things. I didn't get because uh, we had the contest. I got woo, to pull the results of the lovely. contest. Um, while I'm doing so, I will tell you, I need to get to Tennessee mm -hmm. because in June, later mm -hmm. in June, uh -huh. they're going to be opening phase two of the distillery. So it's kind of oh, opening back up. Nice. So I can't okay. wait to get to Tennessee yeah. and check out the Uncle Nearest uh, distillery. I'm with you. You with me? Sign you me up. Heck All right. yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> We might need an Uber. Right. We might need an Uber. <laughs> There's no might to it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Tennessee, here we come. <laughs> oh, you are hilarious, girl. All right, so <laughs> I'm going on to my app. Let me hit the refresh screen. Okay. And let me hit the, the winner. Hold on, hold on. So the contest was how many times did Cousin Anita appear as a guest judge mm. before today? <laughs> the answer was oh. 11 times. Wow. Right? 11 wow. times. Wow. Right? And we had 22 people that got it right. I'm going to zoom in so everyone can see. I okay. use the random picker app, right? Awesome. And it shows the winner. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Oh, this is somebody who comments all the time. I oh, love this really? Guy. He's pretty damn cool really? too. Really? The winner is Hollis Armstrong, my man Hollis. Oh, nice! Hollis is oh, the yeah, winner for sure. It's Hollis, Hollis Armstrong. Awesome! Congrats, Congrats. Hollis! Congrats, Congrats to you, Hollis. We appreciate you, my man. Yeah. So, um, Hollis is going to win a two-ounce sample Ooh. of Weller. Special, I'm sorry, not special. Ooh. I was, oh, gonna, I was gonna say, sorry, 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 hold on, hold on. I was gonna say, we're getting real fancy now. <laughs> Weller Antique 107 okay. is coming to you, Hollis. So, Hollis, please do me a favor email me at thebourbonjudge at yahoo.com or you can get me on, on Instagram as well. We always talk on Instagram as well, kind of funny enough. Awesome. But um, please make sure you reach out as well and uh, I will definitely mail you your uh, your prize. So again, the winner here is Hollis Armstrong. Congrats to you, Hollis. Nice. Cousin, we, we didn't hit the gavel. We got to hit the gavel. I know, I, I think know. we both know though. All right. Yeah. This is a bye.
Uh, yes, it's fair Peace to out. say that Uncle Nearest is dearest to us. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, everyone. Cheers. Thanks, Barbara Judge fans. Have a good one. <laughs> Absolutely. Later, guys. Take care. <laughs>